Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see from the title of today's video, today I'm going to be filming a pack with me. I always love watching these when people go away and although I don't film them for every trip that I go on, I think it's always really fun to film them for the bigger trips and it's safe to say that tomorrow I'm actually going on a bigger trip so it's about time that I packed. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. There's obviously a lot of travel content coming your way and it would mean the world if you could stick around to see it. But other than that, I'm going to jump straight into it because I don't really have time to waste. So let's get started. Before I open the wardrobe up, it's probably best that I do a destination reveal as I'm not too sure whether I've mentioned it anywhere at this moment in time. So tomorrow, very early in the morning, myself and Charlie are actually off to Naples for the weekend and I couldn't be more excited. On Monday, we are then going in a car down to the Amalfi Coast and we're staying in Amalfi, doing day trips to Positano, Sorrento, all the usual suspects and we are so excited to go. I can't believe how quick it's come around but I've had a quick look at the weather this morning and for every single day that we're there, it's going to be between 28 and 30 degrees. So I'm going to need all of my summer clothes so autumn can just hold on for that little while longer because for now I need to be focusing still on my dresses, my shorts, my t-shirts, all that jazz. So we should probably open up the wardrobe and have a look at what we've got. This is the exact moment where I really wish that I organised myself better because my wardrobe doesn't really have much organisation to it at the moment. I'm due a sort out but I've kind of been saving it for my autumn transition and now I'm kind of regretting that but we're going to work with what we've got. So something that I don't think I've ever mentioned before is that I actually find packing very stressful. It usually ends in tears for me, which I know sounds quite dramatic, but I think I just struggle with all of the choices and the decisions to make and it gets really overwhelming. So I usually write a little list on my phone and it's usually in a lot more detail than this, but because I've left it so late, I've kind of just got a list of guidance of this many dresses, this many t-shirts, and I'm just going to have a look at what I've got see what's matching my vibe, see what matches Italy's vibe and kind of just take it from there. So although I'm not very organised, this side of my wardrobe has all of my long dresses and I think that's going to be a really good place to start because as we know, I'm such a dress girl now. I love wearing them and I definitely want to make sure that I'm taking a good few of them with me on holiday, probably one for each day. So I think I'm going to have a little look at what I've got in there and make some tough decisions. Okay, so I think I've successfully picked out the first five dresses that I'm going to take with me. I do still need some more, but I will take some shorter ones as well, just to mix and match. And I'm going to talk you through what I've got. So first up, we have this one. This I've had for so many years now, and it's only a Primark dress, but I absolutely love it. I wore it to the Cotswolds this year. I've wore it in Dublin. It's got so much wear out of it over the last few years, and I always feel so comfortable in it as well. So I'm going to take that one with me to start with. I think I'll just hang things on the door as I kind of decide that I want to take them. Next up we have a very recent purchase actually but still one that I've worn quite a lot and it's this really long tiered dress from New Look, stripey, pastel-y vibes kind of. I feel like that would be a really good match for the Italian streets. I'm kind of imagining like beigey buildings, those nice little European windows and I feel like that's going to be the vibe. So I'm going to take this with me as well and I'm so excited to wear it in that sort of environment. Oh, I seem to have lost one on the floor, but this one is potentially the one I'm most excited about. So I actually bought this dress in Amsterdam, knowing that we were going to Italy, and particularly the Amalfi Coast, and one of the things that the Amalfi Coast is famous for is lemons. So I have got here a lemon dress. This was from Primark in Amsterdam, but I believe they also had it in the Primark here. I'm sure they won't have it anymore, so I don't really know why I'm recommending it to you all. But again, it's a really long dress, quite a unique pattern, very different to anything else I've had in my wardrobe. And to be completely honest, I have just been saving it 
for this trip. We then have my birthday dress, which funnily enough, I actually wore in Amsterdam as well. This is so beautiful. It's from h and I'm pretty sure it's in the sale now as well. I think I saw it on their website the other day for quite a big reduction on what I paid for it. But I actually broke this in Amsterdam and my nan had to fix it for me by like sewing the strap back together. I've tried it on again and it still fits quite nicely. So I'm going to take that with me and kind of just hope for the best in terms of it not snapping on me again. And then the last long dress that I'm going to take is one that you've probably guessed if you follow me on Instagram. But I absolutely love it and just can't get enough of it. So this is kind of an Italian vibe as well, I feel, because of the pastel colours. A little bit more light, neutral, if you like, but still a little bit colourful. It's got the puff sleeves. It's tiered again just here. So it comes in at exactly the right place for me and then goes out further down. And it kind of just goes all the way down to the floor and... It's so beautiful. I, I absolutely love this dress. I feel like it could be one of the top contenders for my favourite dress in my wardrobe because I actually love it that much. So this is definitely coming with me. There wasn't a shadow of a doubt of that. So I knew I was taking it and I'm going to add it to the pile. Okay, so I'm now going to try and find some short dresses just to mix it up a little bit. And I do actually have two in mind. I'm not entirely sure where they are, so bear with me a second as I try and find them. So I have these two dresses, and I've worn the white one loads because I bought it at the end of summer last year. And I've worn it quite a lot this year. I feel like you can't really go wrong with a white dress, especially on holiday. It matches absolutely everything i can dress it up i can dress it down and i'm not too sure how well you can see but it's like got little floral details on it i'm not entirely sure what you call it i know it's got a word beginning with b broad array broad arrays i honestly have no idea but i'm sure someone will know and comment it down below but i really really like that material and i think you're going to see that as i go through and pick out some of my t-shirts too so I've got it in white and I've also got it in green which is again falling off the hanger. I really need to get some better hangers but the green one I've actually never worn and it's still got the tags in it and again I feel like it's quite a nice neutral vibe. can go well with the Italy theme and I'm going to take that one with me as well and I think because I've got seven dresses there that might actually be enough because I only need them for seven days as the days that I'm travelling so on day one and eight. I won't be wearing the dress to travel in at the airport. I have picked out seven t-shirts, vest tops, that kind of thing for the days where I'm not going to be travelling. So basically on the days that I'm travelling, I'm going to wear the same outfit there and the same outfit back. And that's going to be my skinny jeans and a white t-shirt that I have two of. Just because it keeps things nice and simple and I know what I'm doing. And that's all downstairs because I've just washed it the other day. So I've kept that to one side. So I've got these seven items for non-travel days. I feel like I should pick out a few more just because one of these is kind of intended just for the evening so we'll see what we've got for now and i might have to have another look through later and decide on some more but first up is one that i appreciate you can't see very well this is actually looking quite sad because i can't hang it up properly as it always falls off the hanger but it's basically a very beautiful blouse it's got some button detailing somewhere i actually can't even find it i have no idea how this has been placed on the hanger here it is here's the front of it there's some button detailings it's got blue flowers on it and a white background and it's got little puff sleeves which i think always make an outfit look so much nicer and i'm going to take this with me in the hope that on the evenings it's a little bit chillier and i could wear it with my jeans as like a jeans and a nice top option and um, we then also have just a plain white t-shirt there's not really much for me to say about this it matches everything, it's a staple, so I'm going to take that with me for the days that I don't really know what to wear. This next item is quite similar to the dress that I showed you earlier. I've had it for a few years now, so I doubt you can buy this exact piece, but I know the shops are very dissimilar items still. And it's just a t-shirt, again with puff sleeves, in that same detailing as the dress, which I always just think looks really nice and adds something to the outfit. I'm kind of hoping to rewear my skinny jeans quite a lot of times this holiday because all of these t-shirts I'm hoping to wear with them. Maybe that means I should also take some shorts and hopefully wear those on the evening if it's not too cold. I don't know, we'll see about bottoms in a minute. 
but I then have these two vest tops for when it's a little bit warmer again this might be a nice option to wear with shorts so I should definitely pack some of those but I have one in yellow and one in white then again I have another piece that I can't hang up properly because there's no like little tags on the inside of the top but again you've seen this on here before from my Dublin vlog it's a vest top but it's got that same detailing on the sleeves which just adds something extra and makes the outfit look a lot more put together in my opinion and then last but not least I also picked out just a staple white shirt it has been some time since I've worn this I've honestly had this for maybe three maybe four years now it's been in my wardrobe for a long time i don't crack it out often but it's nice for special occasions and i feel like this could look really nice on the evening with some nice trousers so i'm gonna see what i have i might end up putting it back if i can't match it with anything but we'll see how it goes oh and i almost completely forgot to show you that i'm gonna take this little cream cardigan with me again it's just a staple piece but i feel like if i'm wearing my dresses on the evening and it's a bit chilly this is always a good one to slip over the top um, but i'm going to move on to trousers now i'm not going to take too many because i'm obviously got loads of dresses over here but as i said i am going to be traveling in my skinny jeans and i think i'm just going to take these ones they're the ones that i wear all of the time they're the new look shape and lift range i can't remember the actual name i know they always name them girls names but i get them in a size 14 all of my jeans from new look and i just think it's the best place nowadays for me to buy them from so i'm going to take these i'm going to travel in them on the plane which i know is a little bit controversial because everyone says that they're not comfortable but i've never been uncomfortable in skinny jeans and then i also wanted some shorts didn't i and to be honest I tried on my blue denim shorts at the start of this summer and I'm aware they don't actually fit me. So I do only have one option when it comes to shorts and it's my black mum shorts. See, I bought these from Asda really late and then because our weather was a bit wishy-washy, I've not actually worn them yet. But these were a size 14, they're from George. They're the Miley high-waisted mum shorts and I know that they fit perfectly because I've not bought them that long ago. Um, so I'll take those with me and at least then I've got another option to wear with my vest tops and stuff. I need to find next some trousers to go with that shirt. So let's have a look what we've got trouser wise, shall we? These actually look perfect. Oh my God, they are. Let me show you guys. I've got these cream suit trousers. I often wear them to work. Um, but I haven't worn them in a while and they are quite thick they're not that lightweight but I feel like that would be okay for the evening and they're such a nice colour don't feel like you can go wrong with something like this to be honest and I know I can't hold it up very well but I just feel like this a white shirt it's a perfect match really isn't it say no more I feel like I'll definitely take those with me I could also wear them with just the plain white t-shirt so maybe that's something that I could wear on two evenings rather than just one because I don't really want to take trousers that I can only wear once. It seems a bit of a waste in the case. So bottom half wise, I've now got my skinny jeans for like the evenings, those trousers for the evenings and I've got my shorts for the daytime. I feel like I really do need to get a few more t-shirts out but I just want to make sure that there's no further trouser things that I could use. I think another thing that I should consider is the fact that when we're in Amalfi, we're staying in an Airbnb and we've got a washing machine. So I might not actually need this much stuff because we could do a wash midweek sort of thing and I can rewear stuff. But then is it going to have washing liquid, powder, detergent, that sort of stuff? I actually don't know. Ah, I'm getting stressed again. I don't know why I just go around in circles when it comes to things like this. So I think I'm going to finish off by getting a few more t-shirt options to wear with the shorts, putting these back and reminding myself that there's not going to be any catastrophes because we have got a washing machine because I always overpack and then I never wear half of the stuff that I actually take, which is just silly then because it takes up all that room in the case, it makes it heavier and it doesn't need to be. I think I've got every summer option that I would want to take with me down below me on the floor. So I'm going to run through what I've got, see what I want to put back, see what I want to take, pack it all, and then I'll let you know if I put anything back at the end. 